828 Find Adventure here. Hey guys, have you ever been to the beach and gotten sand all over the bottom of your car and then wondered, how am I gonna get this off? Well, I found this gadget by doing a little research and it works great and I wanna show it to y'all. So I've got the normal car wash stuff. I got a bucket, I have microfiber cloths to keep, clean the car and clean the wheels. The car wash I use is an Armor All ceramic car wash. It really helps the water beat up, kind of like when you wax your car. And I've been using it for a while and I'm real happy with it. Another thing I use is a foam cannon. I've just recently started using this and it works really good to soap up the car, especially with this car wash. And then I take one of those microfiber cloths and just wash the car as normal. And it looks great afterwards, probably because of the excess of soap that I've used. So my solution to getting the sand and dirt and mud off the bottom of the vehicle is a attachment for your pressure washer and it's to clean the undercarriage. And basically it's three parts that snap together with couplings and they swivel in just about every direction imaginable. The wheels on this pressure washer also swivel 360 degrees. I don't know what it would be like if they were fixed, but these seem to work fine and I was able to direct it where I needed. The quality is really good. The spray nozzle part is machined out of a piece of aluminum. It has brass fittings, has some stainless steel parts, and some uh, casters that are, you know, decent quality. It rolls really easy and swivels so you can maneuver it under anything. This will also go under a regular sedan and it works great under the truck. And I can get there and spray everything under the truck and get all the debris and sand or anything that I got on it off. For me, it was just sandy, sandy type water that had splashed up there and I just wanted to clean it off. Now I wouldn't hold this under things like U-joints, CV joints, your sway bar bushings. If you wash those out too much, especially a sway bar bushing, you will end up with a real squeaky noise. Well, there it is, all clean. Well, it seems like I got everything off that I needed to. Now I'm gonna finish up the rest of the vehicle, make sure I do a good job, get all that sand off of it. And then I pretty much won't have to worry about it. I'll just let rain take care of the rest. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and liked this little gadget I found for washing the undercarriage. If you would, check out my other videos. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button.